it's already the singer national anthem. Oh, say can you see my program everybody here we are on TV once again uh, you know how many times a day and which on which days and uh, for how long viewers you know shout it out like like uh, it's a answer and pro, pro answer and response kind of deal what what is it? Where is the where is the skull? Where is the skeleton? It's by the couch. Yeah, it's like a damn Bennett voice. Uh, what are we gonna do today? I'm really hungry. I'm gonna eat some of this food. It's hard to eat food sometimes when there's nobody to say things. But I'm I gotta start. I'm gonna I should get right into it. You know I should actually do. We should do some things. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> should he eat, eat some food while we're while glitches or we're, we're getting glitched out, viewers? Did you see? Did you see that? I I, I believe you did. It'd be hard to miss. Uh, sorry, I'm picking up some bites. What are we gonna do today? Live, live our lives. Think some thoughts. Oh, uh, Mr. Ginch is trying to call us like right now. Mr. Ginch, what you got to say? Yeah. But I mean, come the fuck on, motherfuckers. You got fucking Sunday, and the other ones go Saturday, and if you think you're taking Friday, you can go fuck the hell off. Of course it's good Friday. It's fucking payday, motherfuckers. God damn, does it take a goddamn genius to fucking figure that out, you fucking assholes? Fuck you. Of course it's fucking Good Friday. It's fucking pay fucking day, motherfucker. God fucking damn it. Shut the fuck up. Of course 
Good, good Friday. Fucking payday, motherfuckers! God damn it! Don't you fucking get it? It's fucking pay fucking day. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a good fucking day. Now, once you start putting all that religious bullshit in there, my fucking good payday just turned into an asshole fucking payday because some other motherfucker thinks he's going to take over my fucking payday, which is fucking fry fucking day. Go fucking fry your fucking ass on a goddamn electrical fucking power line, assholes. Son of a bitch. Get the fuck off of my fucking Friday. My mom can't understand whether she wants Friday or Saturday or Sunday to be her fucking Sabbath day. Her Sabbath being the day that she's going to do her religious bullshit. And, oh, fuck the hell off, man. She made my fucking life miserable on Sunday for the, my fucking entire life. And uh -huh. it's still that way. Can you hear this? Except for last year, she said, no, I'm switching from fucking... Sunday, and I'm going to make my Sabbath Saturday. Hey, fuck you. You ain't taking my fucking Saturday or my Friday. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care what you do. As long as you shut the hell up and leave me out of it. You fucking understand what I'm fucking saying, motherfucker? Well, yes. You better understand it, because otherwise I'm going to come down there, I'm going to kick in your car so hard, Carl's going to be wearing Freddy's ass for a fucking hat. You got that, motherfucker? Yes. Or do you want Freddy to be wearing Carl's ass for a hat? No. Son of a bitch. Hey, Bob. It's Bob. Hey, everybody. How you doing out there in TV land? In, in here in TV land. I'm doing real good. In front of the camera, behind the camera. In front of the TV, behind the TV, whatever. What's your orientation of the TV? Everywhere. And cameras. Yeah. People out there in the universe experiencing us psychically. Yeah. How is your psychic experience? Is it all, it's kind of all psychic experience, especially if we're talking through the, at least electronics and I think language is slightly psychic totally. in nature yeah yeah how are you fabulous good how are you I'm real good yeah maybe we should call Mr. Ginsu we, we just listened to a message but you're you're here now you're you return yes oh no I just, no. Bro I just broke no. my sunglasses bad I just broke them Bad sunglasses. It fell apart the on me. The screw was loose. So we just hung up on Mr. Ginsu? No, that was a message. Oh. It was a long, long ranting message. When was the last time you were here? Friday. On the, the TC TV? Yeah, I was working some of the robots cams. Really? Yeah, robotic cameras. And you I think I was here the Tuesday before that, maybe. You were just in the in the control the in the control room, not saying anything. Yeah, I was being a uh, covert, covert ops. So if you ever watch, go back and watch the episode, and you see some moving camera shots, maybe you. Yeah, I was working some of the robot cams. You see anything out there? Were you out there in the hail? Uh. Oh, there was hail? Yeah. Uh, there was definitely some really dark clouds and pounding rain, and it did look like one of the raindrops might have been slightly frozen, but it was like one out of a, a million, so. You weren't out there when it was hailing real hard? No, I missed that part. But it looks like it could happen again. There's s still some very dark clouds in the west. How did you miss the hail? Weren't you driving this whole time? Yeah, it's just they're, you know, 
kind of micro systems or whatever, you know. Oh yeah. The weather's different in one place, you know, from mile to mile, really. Yeah, yeah. You see anything out there? Hmm. Lots of people on the streets. Um, definitely noticed the new leaves coming in on the trees. Flowers, camellias. Saw a, a really couple really nice camellias well well uh you know cared for and then um i don't know what that is uh it's a type of flowering uh shrub uh. small tree and uh the of course the other flowering trees like maybe dogwoods uh maybe they're not out yet but something like a white flower and then the cherry blossoms and um Red rhododendrons i've seen a couple roadies yes i think they usually are more prolific in may mm. but there are, there's some early ones out now definitely some azaleas um so yeah that's nice flowers seen Quite a few homeless people on the street. Yeah. Well, accidents on I-5. There's traffic was really bad today. Really? Well, you saw an accident? Mm. Yeah. I saw a, a white, uh, small white car that had been rear-ended very hard. Uh-huh. And it was causing a, a complete gawker slowdown. It was in the northbound lane, and the southbound traffic was was slow for like two miles added on like five minutes uh maybe even 10 minutes to the travel time because of it because apparently people had to look yeah and uh so but i think they had mostly cleared it up by the time i got there so i'm sure it was a bigger spectacle earlier on whatever car hit the the small car wasn't there anymore, so I don't know what happened. It was able to drive away, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Maybe they drove it away, or maybe they towed it away. I don't know. Like, they smashed into a little car. It was a big car. Yeah, like a big truck, and it probably only had a scratch or something. Yeah. You know? So. Did you see the driver? Nope. No, I I just I saw it. I glanced at it, you know, but didn't I wasn't gonna like crane my head over there because I was pretty mad that people had slowed down to to do that. It was on the other side. You're going southbound. Yeah. And it was northbound. Yeah, it was right at the Berkeley Street exit on uh, I five for JBLM. But you could still see it even though you were going the other way. Yeah, yeah, I had a clear view. Kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. Accidents are scary. Definitely, the way people drive sometimes is definitely scary. You see that every day, or some, yeah. some boy. Yeah, pretty much every day I see an accident. Almost every day, for sure. They're they're happening all the time. Yeah. Fortunately, it seems like there aren't too many very, like, very serious accidents. Yeah. Days. Once in a while, you'll, you'll hear about one, but most of the time it's just, you know, people are able to walk away. I don't know what it's like to be somebody in that field, the tow truck driver. Oh, yeah. The fireman. Yeah, lots of emergency vehicles. It's all your whole life. Every day you go somewhere and they're having the worst day of their life and you're there. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. People are just, uh, I think there, it would be difficult. Um, I think that people in those professions probably have a lot of stress, work related yeah. stress. Yeah. I, I think driving an emergency vehicle, like an ambulance, would be kind of exhilarating, though. But it might be a little more than 
you know, like, if you had to do it five days a week, that would be too much. Uh-huh. A lot of the firefighters have, like, 48-hour shifts, and they just, so they're on call uh, 24 hours a day for 48 hours straight, and they just, like, rest and sleep and eat when they can. And uh, they hope that it's not too busy for all 48 hours. And I guess they can call in backup if they need to, you know, if it's like if they're on shift for like 24 hours straight without being able to sleep, then they, you know, or 16 or whatever it is that. But that might be a pretty good gig. Then you would have five days off, you know. Yeah. Maybe people need sleep. Yeah, sleep is really important, especially when you're, like, doing stressful stuff. Your body needs to recover from that stress. Driving is stressful, period. You know, it's uh, handling a 3,000-pound vehicle. That's why I think the self-driving cars would be really nice. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, apparently the Teslas are already self-driving. Have you heard that? No. No. That's that's what I've heard. Uh, I think I would I would like one of those um, self-driving electric cars. I you know for driving a a a lift, a taxi, alternative taxi or whatever, it'd be a pretty good deal because of the fuel savings. Would the even if the payment was a little higher, the it would probably pay for itself because of the fuel savings. They go a lot farther. Or how how far can they go on a charge? Don't you have to charge them up all the time? Uh, the the really I think the high end ones go 300 miles, and the base ones go like 200 or 230 miles. That's so pretty far. That's pretty far. And if you like, if you were able to charge, you know, during your lunch, if you like took a half an hour to do like a a quick charge, yeah. then that would be plenty to get you through the day. How much is uh? How, much, how long does it take to charge them? Um, if you get a 440 volt charger, my understanding is I think you can get up to 80 percent in 30 minutes. Really, that's pretty fast. You know, something like that. I don't. It it varies from car to car. It might be a little more on a Tesla. I don't. I don't really know the details. But you need like a high power charger, supercharger or something. I thought it'd be like hours. Yeah. But those they have the chargers at like some like grocery stores or something like that. Yeah, they do. I think some of those are two hundred and twenty volt. So but it'll you know, I think they most of them charge on a regular like household circuit um within eight eight hours or so. How much is a regular charged. household circuit? That's 120 volts, 110 volts. And the other ones are 400? Uh, yeah, there's 100, 200, and 400. Yeah. Electricity is still mostly fossil fuels. Yeah, it mostly is. I think coal and natural gas, more and more natural gas and nuclear, those are the big ones. And in Washington State, hydro is a pretty big contributor, too. But solar and wind are really, really picking up. And actually, my understanding is because of uh, improvements in manufacturing and whatever, and uh, just technology, um, solar is now cheaper than coal. So. Uh, yeah, but I, I guess I heard something that also manufacturing solar cells is detrimental too. Yeah, it probably is, and they, you know, probably even, like, the best ones have a lifespan of, like, probably 30 years, maybe. I, I don't even know. Seems pretty but long. They, yeah, they, they take a long, you know, they, they probably take a lot of maintenance, too. You have to clean Hello? clean them off. Hello? And, like, large-scale solar farms are, are pretty, uh, have a pretty big impact on the environment, I would imagine. Um, maybe beneficial. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's Some of them have mirrors, and they reflect sunlight on into like uh, molten salts and stuff like that. So, and they can function like a, you know, steam generator there. 
I don't know. Anyway, it, there's different designs. Yeah. The, I, I never heard of that salt. The heat, just getting using it as a heat source. Yeah. Probably do that at least at home. Yeah. I, um, they had, uh, a, they replayed uh, Scott Pruitt, the new director of the EPA's introductory remarks when he visited the EPA yeah. on the radio today and he was talking about coal and stuff. Apparently there were coal miners in the audience at the, at his um, ceremony. And he doesn't believe in climate change. He he doesn't believe that carbon dioxide to an automatic voice is the cause. It is. What's up, Mr. Gensu? It's a message. Mr. Gensu, did you call us during yeah. your lunch break? I think you might have because you know what I'm doing now. Yeah. Stay out of trouble. What do you think about the EPA? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Ginsu, have you ever worked in a uh, coal-burning power plant? Call us back. Or a coal mine? Call us have back. you ever rolled coal? What's that? That's when you're in your bulldozer and you're uh, tending to the pile of coal, coal pile. Yeah, about 35 minutes, call us back. Coal Mountain. I love coal. What's it's the beautiful? Why did why did this guy the EPA guy? What's his like? What you don't believe him? He's just uh, you know he's pro jobs and uh, pro coal and uh, and he. I mean the the science on climate change is settled, right? I mean it's like no reputable scientist would argue that carbon dioxide does has not had an impact on climate and uh the only ones who argue that are ones that are getting paid by fossil fuel industry so yeah but 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 what is it, this it's scandalous this guy's getting paid by the fossil fuel industry that he's oh uh, he's a uh, yeah apparently he's very friendly with them so and uh you know it's like just sort of the the whole I think the whole idea is you know regulations are bad you should allow the invisible hand of the free market to dictate and it's sort of the Ayn Randian self-reliance um, you know look out for your own interests you know plow forward and uh, let the chips fall where they may yeah. I'm not. I'm. I think that climate change is okay, though. I mean, it's maybe maybe it's happening. Yeah. But what's so what's so bad about it? everybody? Well, I, you, I mean, last that. summer people were extremely people are dying from the heat. You know. Yeah, but and, uh, you can't. Uh, it's not because of the climate change. That's that was just a hot hotter year. The the climate varies. Yeah, but every climate year, change is going to take a long every, time. Every every year has been getting hotter and hotter. So yeah, well if it continues at this pace, then the planet is going to become, like, you know, scorched, and it's not going to be habitable. I heard a theory that we are in an ice age, and maybe we've been Technically in one. Technically, we are. Uh, according to the Milankovitch cycles of the sun and how the earth and the sun relate to each other, I think I've talked about this before, but... Two out of three of the factors in the Milankovitch cycle favor a cool the the I you know the concept that the Earth should naturally be in a cooling phase. The third factor is neutral. So uh, out of the three factors, two of them indicate cooling, and what we're seeing is heating instead yeah and so but we're leaving the ice age we've been in an ice age since before uh you know written history yeah well you know there's always there's always fluctuations but there's never been such a rapid spike in co2 levels and not in recorded history not but in recorded history but not that's in geological really history re 
recorded, recorded. His, recorded history is not that long. Uh, it goes back, I think, I can't remember. It's like 800,000 years, something like that. They couldn't have been recording CO2 levels 800,000 years ago. I, they couldn't they have been recording CO2 no, levels they, more than like 100 they, years ago. They do it through ice cores. So there's some places in Antarctica and Greenland where the ice is 800,000 years old, and they drill down into that ice, and they can tell. Uh, from the ice? They can tell from the ice because the layers in the ice build up annually, and so there's annual fluctuations that they can determine from the ice. That seems kind of far-fetched to me. Yeah. Well, it's science, and they... You know, the best scientists agree that the record goes back about 800,000 years. Who's paying the scientists? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, somebody. Lots of people. Maybe the solar power industry. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe. But most of the scientists are publicly funded and they're, you know, like doctors. They, you know, believe in the concept of doing no harm. And so they're not. You know, that's like medical doctors. I don't think if you're yeah. a scientist doctor, you have to sign the Hippocratic Oath. You don't, but I mean, generally, that's like sort of common morality. You know, is like the concept of do no harm. You know. Yeah. So like they, they, those scientists have common morality, but the leader of the EPA does not have common morality. Maybe not. That's put that. That's. I think that's what some people would argue. Yeah. So, you know. Do no harm. Like you get to choose, you got to choose who to believe, I guess. And there's if like they're saying that the leader of the yeah. EPA, they're the head of the government. I don't know why they. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's also common knowledge that coal is toxic. Even the cleanest coal yeah. has toxic metals in it. Uh, the that's how coal functions in the earth. It acts as a filter. So when you get a layer of coal, you get water percolating down through the coal bringing all all kinds of minerals with it and those re those reside in the coal so water like coal is a is a natural filter for water systems in the earth and it makes the the water in the ground clean um, below where the coal is because it traps all the the harmful materials like mercury and cadmium and yeah, stuff like that. I think like that Arsenic. guy, the guy knows if he knows that something is wrong, it's still his future. Also, that the, the whole yeah, with it, the it is climate change. We're all in the same boat together. So, like, if it's so. it's if it's his future, also, I, I think he took that in consideration. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe he's he's braver than other people. You know, maybe he's just a very brave man. Yeah, or he's not worried about the the climate change thing because it's not p maybe part of the process of the of the planet and of of everything. And that's true. I think st th if we get everything to stand still, everybody wants to make the world not change, and that is more far fetched than the change. I think that. I don't think anybody's arguing against change. I think change is natural. It's just well, what is what's the phrase? Climate change. Yeah, uh, what people are arguing against is recklessness and negligence. They what people want is precaution and security and safety, and they don't want to. I don't know uh, how we're supposed to move forward. Jeopardize the well-being of future generations for short-term selfish wants and needs we gotta worry about so ourselves now i'm not i'm I, I, yeah <laughs> well i'm the marathoners in the future are watching this long-term sustainability yeah and you know peace and health and and true the true wealth is health what is true wealth health health is wealth you know if you don't have your health what do you have you know you can have all the money in the world but if you don't have health then you may be poor you know that's what people would argue and we need clean air and clean water to be healthy yeah uh, i want to call john webster it's commonwealth it's the concept I'm trying to talk to him common law he was going to come on last friday but we had some communication issues and he didn't make wasn't able to make it so now i'm going to talk to him today 
You rolled the dice? We, I haven't been playing the dice game recently. I haven't played the dice game in almost a week. Oh, uh, there's an emergency. Emergency vehicle. Another one. We can play the dice game if you want to, but I, I've been... Have you been eschewing it? John Webster, resident. Hi, it's the program. Is John available? Uh, yeah, hang on. John, it's for you. Hello, hey. Hello John. Yes. Hi, it's uh, me. It's the program. How are you? Uh, happy Easter. Happy Easter, John. It's Good Friday oh, today. Go, oh, John. Okay. Happy Easter. It's, it's Happy Easter to you. It's Good Friday. I know. I mean, it's. A, I'm going to be going to the uh, church. What are you going to do at church? Uh-huh. What are you going to do there? Um, uh, it's right in there. It's right in there. It's, uh, Good Friday. It's, look at the pamphlet there, uh, Tracy. Uh, Tracy. I mean, Julie. Look at the pamphlet there. Do you do anything, uh, specific? Paper there. Do you do anything on Easter? Specifically, that's yeah, not that you don't usually do. I had my, then I had my, and then I had my feet washed uh, yes, yesterday. What? I had my feet washed yesterday. You had your feet washed by who? Uh, oh, by a, by a fellow that goes to a church. The somebody at church washed your feet. Yep. Where? At our church. Like in the bathroom. Nope, in the, in the, uh, at the, at the church where I go to, St. Benedict's Episcopal Church. That seems odd to me. Why, why, why is, why are people washing your feet? Is that something that happens at church? It's before Good Friday and everything. Is that part of Good Friday? You gotta wash your, or have somebody else wash your feet? Yep. Huh, have you heard? Well, who's, on, who's on the phone, Bird? Why don't you listen to John Webster? Get off the phone for a, an hour. What are you doing, Bird? Get out here. I, I'm tra talking about Good Friday. Here. What is What is the... Um, doing business. Sorry. You're, 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 are you, did you hear about this feet washing thing? Yeah, I've heard of it. That's, that's a tradition. It is? That's a church yeah. thing? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's. I think Jesus washed people's feet. That's what he did to show them love. You wash your. Did did you, did you wash any somebody else's feet, John? Uh, no. That that's a thing that they do at churches. They have like a holy bath, foot bath or something, and then. What do they use? Soap, John. You just wash your feet with soap, or is it no, just like? No, just, uh, just put your feet in, in, a, in a bucket. So it's more ceremonial than actual cleaning. Oh, somebody's getting pulled over right outside. I think. Oh no, no, it's just ambulance, ambulance trying to get through. So it's not, it's not like somebody's like sitting there actually like doing a scrub down on your feet. It's more like, I dip your feet in the bath of as Jesus did kind of deal, you know, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So that's what it seems to me. I hope, I hope it's like that because I don't know. Washing your feet is really odd to me to do at a church. It's a, but I guess I mean, all the other stuff's kind of odd too, out of context, but. And then Easter's, and then, e e then Saturday I'm going to Easter Virgil at St. John's Fiscal Church, right, where the green fog is. Uh-huh. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a greeter. That sounds good. Do they do, do, uh -huh. they, do they do egg hunts? Uh, I don't know. And then I'm going to be going to Easter service on, on, on Sunday. Yeah. About how uh, Jesus was born, born out of the rocks or something. Um, can I get my feet washed if I go to the church and be like, "Hey, wash my feet," or they're gonna be? There? I'm gonna get it. Are you watching TV, John? Uh, CW, CW, uh, CWU. Uh, it's um, it's TVW. What's on it? Um, I have it on because I'm listening to Max 96 FM. Yeah, that's our neighbors. Um, yeah. You got your feet washed. Bird, get off the phone. Okay. 
<laughs> You're not doing Okay, and then you just don't do not do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah get, get off the phone for, for a, All right, a, I will. A, a minute of your life. Pay attention to John. I'm talking to John here. Okay. You hey, should where, be talking. Where would you like to go for Easter Sunday? I'm getting off. Where would I like to go? Uh, for Easter Sunday. Uh, heaven. What restaurant would you like to go to? Oh, McDonald's. Uh, what? What's that one right by, um... Uh, let's see, there's a, uh, something to be, uh, um, it's on the, right on Burger the King. Uh, let's see, what, uh, Are you thinking of Burger King, John? No, it's, it's a rest, it's a restaurant, but. Um, Burger King's a restaurant. No, it, no, this is. It's it's uh, it's it's just a different rest, restaurant. Uh, Blimpies. No, uh, it's uh, right by the port. Uh, by the courthouse. No, it's right by the port. See what? Uh, by the park? What are you saying? Give me the give me the port. Of, uh, you talking about Bud Bay? Bud Bay Cafe. Bud Bay Cafe and uh, Restaurant. We're, that one's downtown, yeah? Right by the port. Oh, by the port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that place? I don't know if I've ever been there before. You ever been there? That's where Watch Club's going to be going to take his, take his wife and everything. You ever been to Bud Bay Cafe, Bird? Yeah. You like it? Uh, I haven't been there in a while. What I, what I've I, had good experiences and and you know maybe um, you know maybe slightly subpar experiences. What do they what do they have there? What kind of food is it? It's like an American know. restaurant, I think, pretty much. What? Like a di- like diner food? No, they got like you know I don't know meatloaf and salmon and hamburgers. I don't know. Yeah. Salads. What, John? French fries. Baked potatoes. Oh yeah, I don't like the oyster house. Then there's another place uh, way down by the port called Anthony's. I like Anthony's. It's a little pricey. Anthony's is good. The hearth fire is great. They have great hamburgers. But I don't like uh, oyster house. Anthony's has good deals on their hamburgers for happy hour too. I think. What's the deal? The hearth fire. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I think they're like five dollars? bucks or something. Really? Five bucks? For I them? can't remember. Maybe it's ten bucks. Yeah. If it's five, that's like uh, cheaper than. Yeah, I know. I was surprised. At a I, yeah. Places, I think huh? yeah. But you're supposed to get. But drunk. they're like handmade, you know. They're like hand formed patties, you yeah. know. Yeah. You're supposed to drink the whole time. Yeah, you're probably supposed to. What have is that clicking sound? Are you doing that? It's my fingernail. I'm sorry. Uh, you can hear that. Yeah. Probably, I can hear in the headphones. Um, you got them cranked up. You got the headphones cranked up so you can hear everything. Yeah. That's good. What are you going to do? Let's what do you go to the hearth fire. What do you do for Good Friday, John? Um, not, not what? Not what? Are you going to do what? Are you going to give up something for Lent? Is that Lent? No, it's past, it's past that. Oh, uh, Lent already happened? Uh-huh. How was that? Did you give up anything for Lent? No, it's so hard to do. Yeah, I don't want to give anything up either. I mean, especially if you have, like, a lot of things, then maybe it's easy to give something up, but what if you don't have that many things to begin with? Like, uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up caviar for Lent. No caviar. Yeah, oh, that's tough. Yeah. You, you suffer. Yeah. I'm already, I've, or I'm already not, not indulging in so many things that... You're so noble. I'm going to be... Uh, maybe that's what the people who are celebrating Lent would be doing. And be the noble ones. Yes, it's very impressive. You pulled your phone back out, huh? Well, I'm trying to take care of this business. Why? <laughs> What's your business? Uh, on the phone. Upload some documents. Bird's doing business on the program on the phone. Uh, 
Well, that's good. You gonna need a ham, John? You haven't seen, you haven't seen me uh, dress, dress up. I've been all dressed up all this week. Are you wearing a suit for Lent? I've been dressed up all this week. Why? You see me all dressed up. For Easter? Why are you dressed up? Oh, I've been going to church and everything. Every day? Yep. Because of Easter? Yep. How do they... How, how do you get there? Um... Uh, Easter Vigil, I'm going with someone. Uh, her daughter goes to University of Washington. I'm going to that. Mm -hmm. They do church every day? Uh -huh. What? They do church every day? Yep. Talk to John Burr. Why don't you get out do your business on your... Wow. Daily church. That's heavy duty. Yeah. Do your business off a of program. Okay. This is not for okay. business. Um... Yeah, that's good. You're gonna go. You're, you're gonna be very holy now, John. Yep. Um, you gonna go to church today? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going to church today, tonight at seven o'clock. Yeah, I don't know what good. What What's Good Friday about? Like, how come there's Good Friday, and then there's Easter? What's the difference? Jesus was uh, nailed to the cross. <laughs> On Good Friday. Isn't that right? That sounds like it's Bad Friday, right? They take everything off the all they take everything off the all everything off the altar. They strip they strip the altar and everything too. Isn't that bad isn't that a bad day when you get nailed to a cross? Maybe it's good because you're or you're you're Hallelujah. dying for sins. Hallelujah! Hallelujah John Hallelujah. On in Canada, they have Easter Monday, apparently, according to this calendar. I went, I went, uh, I was going to go to that, but, uh, what, uh, someone had, someone had, uh, was late for work. <laughs> Who? Uh, his name was, uh, Jeff, uh, Zarin. I'm going to be, hey, I'm going to be, help. I'm going to be running, um, in, uh, uh, what's called race? What's called race? Uh, the race uh, for life. Well, it's it's the the. What call it, race? What's, that what's race the race called, called, Bird? Race for life. No, but John's going to a race. Uh, I don't know. It's a walk. It's a walk. Uh, walk a thing. Walkathon. Oh. Is it a walkathon? What's the name of the, the walks and everything? Walks storm. Walkser. I don't know what it is, John. Waka waka. Waka waka, John. Waka waka waka. Oh wait, what? The quap walk. Qua like the Muppets. Quaffed. Koala. Croft. Koala walk. Crop walk. Oh yeah, crop walk. I think that happens in May. For you're gonna be. That's good. For a farm, you're supporting farms. I've been cut, I've been it's a anti-hunger walk. walk. Well, yeah, I don't like hunger. Hunger is bad. What do you think about hunger, John? Yeah, I'll be running, walking on the crop walk. How far are you going to walk? That's going to be, that's going to be May the 7th. How far a walk is it? Uh, I don't know, I don't know how far it is. How, how's baseball, John? I don't know, uh, Rangers are playing tennis tonight. Yeah, do they, are they winning? Uh, they're in last place, they are playing Texas Rangers tonight. They're in last place out of everybody? I think they've only won two games. They're playing Texas Rangers tonight at 7 o'clock. <laughs> the, are they, the Mariners are dead last out of all, the entire baseball league? They're in last place. Oh, Only no. won two games, but they have room for improvement. Two out of what? It's better, it's better than starting good and then 
falling apart. The season just started though, right? Yeah. But still, dead last though. Yeah, they're in dead last. They've, only, they've only played like 10 games. But at least being like second to last, I mean, dead last is sad. Dead last. They need a, they need a streak. They need to win like five in a row. They're the worst team in the in the league. Yeah. Well, it's, it's early in the season anyway. Yeah. So you, you think they're gonna come back? Uh, well, I hope so. I guess if we're dead last, then anything other than last place is gonna be good. Let's so. go to the game tonight. You gonna take John? Yeah. You ever been? I'm going to take you. I think tickets are $12. Uh, well, that's not bad. Uh, uh, tonight, the fans get uh, a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, stat, uh, statue. You ever? A statue in front of the, in front of Safe Safe Field. They're giving out Griffey statues? Didn't he retire in, like, probably, like, 2002? Yeah, Griffey played for the Mariners. Yeah, like, in like a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, they're unveiling the official statue in front of the stadium today. But Griffey, Griffey changed teams at the end of his career, though, and, and that's like he wasn't too loyal to this, this, to to the Mariners. Doug got me. Yeah, but he was a good Mariner while he was here. Doug got me. Yeah, but why they? I mean, they're right there, that picture frame. Uh huh. I get. If, uh -huh. if they're dead last, yes. then they had to remember like the late 90s or mid 90s more than the present. Like remember Griffey 20 years ago? Remember when that was happening? That's what I remember. I guess in their heyday. I, I guess I, I was going to the, see the Mariners when they were in their heyday more. They still never did that good though. Down there. Down down there. See that one down there? He's gonna set that up too. You moving, moving your your things around in your house, John? That's right. That's my niece when she was in high school. Uh huh. How's Coco, John? Oh, she's sleep. She's sleeping. She's been on my laying on my suit. She tried to bite me. <laughs> well, she's a good. She's a, she bites everybody. <laughs> She bites everybody? She likes, she likes everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. I came over to your place on Friday for a minute, and I she tried to bite me. Well, you didn't, you, you, you should have come over last, 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 uh, yesterday. Yeah, Bird, Bird couldn't find your house. We tried to call you out late on Friday to go pick you up, but it didn't work out. Uh, he's yeah, here. I was waiting, I was waiting. Um, I was the Blue Jays are behind the Mariners. Oh yeah, quit! Uh, quit! I, I, um, they're Canadian though, right? The Blue Jays. Toronto, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're beating or we're losing all the Americans. The only people behind us are the Canadians. Um. Bird, Bird is here, John. You know Bird, right? Yeah, I know Bird. Yeah. Hello, John. Yeah, we were supposed to be. Or Bird was going to pick you up on that day, but we tried to call you, but you didn't answer the phone, and Bird didn't yeah. know where you live. Yeah. I, I, I think I was in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Do I, I wonder if I have the right number. I can't, uh, get the phone while I'm in the, bed, in the bathroom. You do. Yeah, John, we'll, we'll, we'll come over and tape the show at your place, or pick you up maybe sometime soon we're gonna be doing this cctv thing we're dropping the fridays we're gonna be moving to like a random time for bands and stuff so we'll be going to tctv but not on the same day every time dance or dance is gonna be separate now yeah separate but equal <laughs> what's on tv now john um Talk about stuff. It's, I got on mute anyway. Oh yeah. All right. I'm listening to I'm listening to Rick's Night Six FM. Great. All right. Well, hey, thanks for talking to us today, John. Okay, I want to I want to see you here. I want to see you today. I want to come over after the show's over. 
Today? Yeah. Maybe... How about on the... Are you going to go to Arts Walk? Uh, no, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, visit, I'm going to be busy with the church and everything. On Saturday? On Saturday the 29th? That's in a while. John, we'll come visit you someday. We'll, we'll, maybe next, how about next Wednesday? John, how about Wednesday the... That's, uh, uh, um, uh, Survivor comes on on that on on Wednesdays. Yeah, nighttime, at like eight. On Thursdays, it's um, it's a raging race. Oh yeah, it's 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 the season premiere of Survivor for the summer. Did you know that the mayor of uh, Seattle has a lawsuit on him? About what? Well, a guy from uh, Port Portland is accusing, uh, this was a long time ago, um, uh, he accused, um, because Ed, Mur Ed Murray was uh, fondling, fondling him. Ed Murray was fondling him? Yes. What? He w Ed Murray denies it. Ed Murray fondled the mayor of and Seattle. From, uh, Porton, uh, was, um, when this guy, this happened uh, in Portland, Oregon. Uh -huh. uh, he, uh, the guy fondling. Uh, uh, what, what is what is fondling <laughs> necessarily? He was when he was young and everything. Just like a quick, a quick grab or a lengthy grab. I don't know what a fondle like. Um, he fondled him when he was a kid. Yep. So they they're saying that the mayor, they're claiming that the mayor is a pedophile. It's in the it's it's written in the paper. Bird, you know about this? Yeah, I've heard it in the news. Uh, and um, Mayor Murray denies it. But they're saying somebody's somebody's accusing the mayor of being a pedophile. Yeah. Oh. So, but he de he denied he's denied it the whole time. And That's such an easy accusation, and, and it's hard it, to this shake. Uh, this was like 30 years ago or more. Oh, yeah. I think. That's bad. He's got a lot of enemies. The oh, mayor like, has a lot of enemies, doesn't he? The question is, yeah. The question is, why would you wait 30 years to, you know? Did you know yeah. this coming Tuesday is so. uh, tax day? You got. Are you, are you gonna get any uh, money back from the from the from income tax? I thing? believe I'm going to. I gotta I gotta still yeah, do that. the mayor actually. definitely has some enemies. Yeah, I think I he has. You, I know you. I know where you. I know where you work. Anyway. Hey, yeah, John. Are you still working there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's good. It's they, we're gonna get money our, our money back from the government and tax day. Is that a? It's like a holiday. Um. He, he has a lot of police. How many McCordy places are there? There's one where you work. Uh, there's the million. There's millions uh, of them, John. Out by Hot Curry. Like eight. And then uh, where's, the, where's the other McCordy? There's like four of them, John. Um, Good Friday. Good Friday. And then tomorrow is nothing Saturday, and then it's Easter. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, John, the show's almost over. I'm going to hang up, okay? We'll talk to you later. Okay, I'll see, why don't you come by right, right later on? Not today. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, <laughs> what did he say? He said bye. What? Why isn't who on? What? Did, why isn't who on? Did, what did he say? I don't know. Oh. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'll just have to go back and listen to the program. Yeah. Uh, hey, we only have a few minutes left. Yeah, let's have a moment of silence. All right, that was a good moment, right? Uh, <laughs> well, how long? That was a moment. I was thinking like maybe a few minutes. What? A few minutes of silence? We can do that all the time. Yeah, let people fall asleep, you know, and then wake them up with the end of the show credits. What? <laughs> that's you want to roll the dice? Uh, not in particular. I mean, if you want to, you can go nah, for it. They're, they're over there somewhere. i got to find them. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm not really doing that anymore. Uh, with the dice. We're not doing. On. We haven't That's been. fine with me. Yeah. We haven't been doing. I think the that's dice healthy. Game. I don't like gambling anyway. It's bad. We stopped the dice game. Gambling we haven't been. Is bad. We haven't been doing info time or or the dice game or any of that stuff. We're just yeah. Chatting. Chatting it up. Yeah. So we're doing it today or, or now. All that stuff was. Yep. I'm talking about the streets. Yeah. Dice game was uh, like a. Too long. It went on for a long time. Yeah, it's kind of like enough is enough. How many dice games are there? Yeah, now yeah. we're we're just saying stuff. That's better that way. Yeah. Uh, yep. Talking. Yeah. Talking to John Webster. That's what we should be doing instead yeah. of playing the dice game. Asking John Webster about who in the press has been fondled. Uh. I want to watch Dances with Wolves with Kevin Costner. Yeah. Is fondled, like, because they weren't, you could say, molested or fondled. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, I I, they, I think people have used different terms. Are they some, some say molested, some say fondled? I, yeah, I'm not really sure. Because, like, fondled is a little bit lighter than molesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I think fondling can be consensual. I guess the question is whether it was consensual. My understanding is that the acu the person who's accusing the mayor was uh, like a homeless s youth at the time, maybe. Uh -huh. So maybe it was like a he maybe he got paid for it or something. You know, I he, don't really. Oh, he know. was homeless at the time. He got he made the accusations. Um, he's I think he's now not homeless, but was homeless at the time. Mm. So, like, back, I think he was, like, 15 or 16 when it happened, maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised so. that, that public figures aren't just inundated with false accusations, like, all the time. Yeah. Like, how, how's that not happening, but... Yeah. Yeah. If well, you... Maybe it's false. Maybe it's not. False accusations affect people who have real accusations. Yeah, definitely. Negatively, so look out for that. Yeah. yeah. The show's over, though. It's that. It's that time of the show where we press the other button. Kenny's doing it all. He doesn't need my help. No cassette. It says women's event tape. What's that? It's this one. The event tape. Oh. There's the dice game. Advance through that. Yeah, we're skipping. We're skipping all this stuff now. Yep. Call the number if you're if you want more information. It's up there. Three six zero eight three six forty three eighty four. Another dice game. And thanks for watching. It's hey. been real. Looks like granola. It's Friday. Or maybe it's a uh, roasted artichoke cart. Overtime. 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TV Channel 22. Deep fried artichoke cart. 3608364384. Call me a message. Get on TV. Crew, you guys want me mm, on the crew? Yum. 109 State Avenue. Yeah. Visual experience. Auto audio visual. Graham Graham. It's a good song. Thank you. Thank you. Crew, you guys on the crew? Is. Alicia? Yep. Cedar? Dad? Faja? Jerry? Larry? Mary? Mom. Riley? Sydney? Zilger? Everyone. TCTV, the baby, and, Jordy Frappers, Graham Graham, Subspot, Com, John Webster, Thurston County. Washington City USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners, I thank see you. you're watching and listening. Thank you. The whole world. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily the program high 2018 it says 2017 we're here in the past and we're watching this thing happen
today we talked to Mr. Ginsu and Freddie and Yellow Fellow and McDonald's and Mr. Ginsu tries to get us to get call a medical supply place because he's making catheter jokes. He said that he's doing real good, that Mr. Ginsu is back is better and he's happy. Uh, he's like, I don't have much to complain about anymore because of happiness. And that's a good thing to me. I wouldn't want to any other way. Uh, you can call and leave a message on the thing there. You know the number there. It's 360 uh, 364 one over night, 11.30 and 2 a.m. on Town 22. Check it out.